everyone, Ben's95, back with another record collection video. And in this uh, video I'm going to be covering the letter T. And I've got quite a bit of um, records, you know. So uh, I'm not going to ramble on too much. I'm just going to say a few things about every one of them. And uh, yeah, so let's begin the video. First record, <clears throat> Talking Heads 77. And this is the one that features the song Psycho Killer. It's a good album. More songs about buildings and food. This album features the songs um, Thank You For Sending Me An Angel, Artists Only, and um, Take Me To The River. And this is the first of three albums that Brian Eno produced uh, with Talking Heads. Um, and uh, this album features, you know, an eclectic mix of certain genres, uh, or a few genres. Incorporated into their, you know, punk, uh, post-punk and new wave, uh, you know, style of music. So, it features a little bit of country and and uh, bubblegum pop on it. So, uh, yeah, this is a really good album. And, yeah. Beard music. This one has the, you know, that embossed, uh, you know, cover. It's the first edition Canadian pressing. It also features, uh, you know, the insert sleeve with the, you know, obscure looking, you know, alien like figure. This album features the song I Zimbra and Life During Wartime. Remain in Light, their most popular album in their uh, discography. Uh, of course, everybody knows what's on this album, you know, Once in a Lifetime. Born Under Punches, The Heat Goes On, uh, you know, Cross-Eyed and Painless, uh, Seen and Not Seen, which is, you know, a great song. I really like that song a lot, you know. It's a, it's a really good tune. And for those who know the story behind this album, uh, this was originally supposed to be the front cover, you know. But, uh, of course, this was the final product of the cover, you know. little fact factoid for those who who don't know you know classic new wave you know rock album tangerine dream Phaedra. So gay fold. And uh you know what can I say about this album? This is a brilliant record. Uh it's um it's 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 just uh it's so beautiful, you know. Beautifully crafted, uh, it's beautifully crafted ambient electronic music, you know. When I was first listened to this, I was just blown away. It's just, it's just so good. You know, like, for those who have never heard this album, or any, 
I've ne- not heard anything by Tangerine Dream. Uh, you got to listen to this album. It's it's just absolutely amazing. You you'll be you know, you'll be blown away just just as I was. You know, it's amazing. <clears throat> I got a translator. Heartbeats and triggers. This features the song, uh, they're, you know, only hit uh, everywhere that I'm not. And I discovered Translator uh, through their video for that song. And, um, yeah, I thought that it was really good, you know. Uh, and when I came across the record, I was actually quite surprised that I came across it at a records, record show, uh, you know, you know, a while back. It was just a long, long time ago. You know, I never thought I would find it. Um, it was it was like a diamond in the rough for me uh, to find this record, you know, like like a like a, another record that I had up in my collection, which is Ice Cold Works. Never thought I would find that record there. It was a big surprise. Um, and you know, this band, you know, uh, they were never uh, a huge. They didn't get a lot of airplay, you know, on college radio at the time. They weren't as big as you know REM. They're they're classified as like a you know alternative um, alternative rock uh, new wave post punk band, um, but also they're also like very much a stripped down rock and roll type band you know, um, and uh, yeah um, this it's a cool album to to have you know in my collection. The time. What time is it? And of course, features you know songs "Wild and Loose," seven 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 ninety three eleven. One day I'm gonna be somebody. The walk. Gigolos get lonely too. I don't want to leave you. You know. Of course, uh, the time featured um, two very uh, important. Uh, uh, figures in music, uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I don't know exactly which ones were, I don't know who, who was Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, but, um, on the, on the back cover, you know, but, uh, you know, they were very important to, uh, to music as producers, you know, they produced, I think, Janet Jackson, you know, they produced, uh, they were very important in, in the, the new Jack swing, uh, genre of music that came out around, uh, about mid to to late eighties into the early nineties, you know, um, or yeah, and yeah, um, the uh, the time are, are are a great band. Um, I think I think on this album, uh, they didn't actually play on the, the on the record. I mean, the only person that was really on this album was uh, Morris Day. You know, he did the singing, and I think Prince did all of the you know. Uh, instrument uh, like instrumentation so um, yeah uh, they have connections obviously uh, you know him uh, Morris Day and, and Prince they're both from Minneapolis and Morris Day was both was in um, both films that uh, the, the two films that uh, kind of have certain connections with each other too you know I think it's uh, they, their sequel um, one of them was the sequel um, he was in Purple Rain, you know, and uh, he's also in a movie, I think, I think it's called Graffiti Bridge, or Graffiti Soul, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but yeah, so I'm really glad to have this, you know, really good 80s funk. And I got a couple uh, last records here by T- Pat Travers, here's his first album. And this album features the song Stop and Smile and the studio version of Boom Boom Alcohol Lights. Um, the, uh, the live version of that song is far, far more superior, you know. For those who have, ne- who have never heard the live version, you've got to check it out. It's great, you know. It's, like, it's just an amazing song. Um, you know, a little, a little story about Pat Travers is that he, 
you know, was his, I think his biggest influence was Jimi Hendrix. Um, you know, when, when he was younger, he, excuse me, he, uh, he, uh, he went to go see, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, in Ottawa, I think, you know, and, uh, that's, that's what inspired him to pick up the guitar and, you know, become a musician. So, it's an interesting little fact. And, uh, yeah, awesome. And then I have uh, another record by Pat Travers, Heat in the Street. And the Pat Travers band featured uh, Tommy Aldridge, um, right here, seen right here, in the cover, uh, who went on to go play with, uh, play um, for Ozzy Osbourne. And uh, he also played with uh, White Snake. And yeah, this is a, this is a, it's a stellar album to have in my collection, you know, um, as well, because you know Pat Travers, like I said, you know, like he's he's just a he's a totally underrated guitar player, you know. For those who have never heard Pat Travers, you have to check him out. He's just incredible, um, incredibly underrated, you know. And this album features, of course, the title track. The title track is just uh, I I love that song to death. You know, it's it's just it's brilliant, and also features another really good tune uh, called Evie. So yeah, I'm really glad to have this. You know, Pat Travers is just he's the man. And uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for uh, the letter T. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, so. I'm going to be wrapping up the series uh, pretty soon. You know, I've got one more video left, and then uh, I'll be heading over to a, a record show tomorrow. And I hope to find a lot of really cool things. And I'll probably probably making um, I'll be making a new video. Uh, well, I'll be making my first uh, vinyl finds video uh, sometime next week. So uh, stay tuned for that for those who have uh, for. Have, for those who have subscribed and uh yeah so um anyways take care and i'll see you later bye